YouTube, team keep it clean. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today on this Wednesday? I, I hope y'all are good, man. I be seeing y'all like trying to sneak this me sometimes. Like yesterday, I, I don't feel like putting on a hoodie every single video. We were getting ready to leave, so I throw on a red tank top, and I got some people like, man, hey, you my guy, but nah, that tank top, it's, it's a no for me, man. But then somebody was talking about, hey, look like he engraved and bringing the guns out for this video, so let's go. And then in, in another video that we did earlier, somebody was like, man, did, did you even wash your face before you did this video? But, hey, regardless, I still love y'all, and I appreciate y'all, and I rocks with y'all. Anyway, so the Ravens, yesterday, they signed Joe Thomas. Now, I know sometimes when we watch how the offensive line operates, especially in the run game, then you, you could think that, man, did the Ravens bring back the former Browns Joe Thomas? But no, that's not him. No, sir. This is the linebacker, Joe Thomas, who most recently played for the Houston Texans this year, this year. But he, he made it out alive. So congratulations to Joe Thomas. Welcome to the Ravens. It's a, it's a little bit better over here than it is in Houston. But anyway, um, just some statistics from his career. Uh, so we see he played, he started off playing for the Green Bay Packers. And that looks like that's where he had his biggest uh, impact was on the Packers. There was a season in 2016 where he had 70 tackles. Um, and yeah, that, that I guess he was on the field the most. I, I, like, I'm, I'm not too familiar with his game. Uh, I'm not familiar with his name. But one thing that we do know about these Ravens, uh, when it comes to the linebacker position, they do their due, I mean, they do their due diligence with every position. But when it comes to the linebacker position, uh, if this is somebody that they brought in at this point of the season, like, they're probably, they probably, they know a lot more about him than I do, and they see something in him that they could use. Because the person who reported this was actually Aaron Wilson. You know Aaron Wilson, he used to, um, he used to cover the Ravens for the, for the Baltimore Sun, I believe. Um, but I know he used to cover the Ravens heavy back in the day. Um, but now he moved over to covering the Texans, so whenever Texans make a move, especially when Ravens make a move about a former Texan, he's on it quick. But anyway... This is what he said. He said, former Texans linebacker Joe Thomas is signing with the Ravens practice squad per a league source. And this was the kicker right here. And could move up quickly to the 53-man roster. So with that being said, um, I know some people took this as, oh, well, does this mean that uh, Patrick Queen's injury is a little bit worse than what we thought? No, because Patrick Queen, he came back in the game. After after he got hurt, uh, yeah, yeah, he came back in the game. So Patrick Queen, he's fine. Uh, but this is just, I guess, some some positive reinforcements. Hopefully, there ain't nothing going on with Patrick Queen. I mean, um, we the Ravens, they uh they have practice today, uh, so we'll get a double confirmation on that. Uh, and then they have the presser today at uh, eleven forty five. Uh, I know John Harbaugh, he's supposed to speak. I'm not sure who else is going to be speaking at that presser. Uh, but we should have some more uh, Ravens updates um, very, very soon. So, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that Patrick Queen is fine. Now, um, Ravens, whenever they make a move, though, whenever, you, you just, all you got to do is watch to see what they do. Like we said in the video yesterday, um, actions, they, they speak a lot louder than words do. Even though Ravens, when they say something, when Harbaugh says something, um, his words can be pretty powerful sometimes, like, again, the other day when he said with the Ronnie Stanley situation, he said they were going to come to a res resolution soon. And when he used that word resolution, it was like, ooh, this does not sound good. And with Ronnie Stanley, too, it's um, something to think about. This will have been his one, two, third surgery on the same ankle. So that's that's a lot. That's a lot. And I, I see why those rumors about, and I think it was like from Reddit or something, but I see why those rumors about him possibly retiring, I, I can see why they got started, because he's not a small guy. He's not a little guy. He's a giant. He's, he's heavy. I mean, he's offensive lineman, so they are all giants. Um, not, not from New York, though. Oh, nice little dad joke. But anyway, uh, with them all being just huge for all that weight, to be put down on that one ankle, and this is the third time you're dealing with problems with this same ankle, that's a lot, man. 
That's a lot to, it's just a whole lot. And my, my biggest hope for Ronnie Stanley, of course that he comes back next year and he's fully healthy. That's that's the obvious. But an even bigger hope for Ronnie Stanley because I don't know if y'all remember when there was a presser, when it was when Marcus Peters and Gus Edwards, when they both of those guys got hurt and they officially got put on injury reserve. But in the presser, uh, Ronnie Stanley was saying, um, I just hope that, uh, it, he said, you can feel when you're injured, you, you, you feel bad, you're away from the team, and you can't do anything. So you can almost feel like you're alone and you can feel isolated. So with Ronnie Stanley, he knows what it's like. He just went through this last year. He knows what it's like to be away from the team for a long period of time. And he said that, yeah, there's times that you can feel isolated, you can feel lonely. So hopefully, my biggest hope for him is that his mentals will be straight and that his mentals, they, they'll be okay. So moving forward, he, he'll be straight just, again, mentally because with these injuries, they obviously take a big toll on you physically, but they can take an even bigger toll on you mentally because you're in, and it's, I mean, it's the same way with us, us normal people <laughs> that don't work in the NFL or aren't football players. Uh, the, these injuries, they, they can take a toll on you, obviously physically, but mentally too. So it's important because because whenever you, you you're so used to doing something that you do uh, on a normal basis, you're so used to doing something that you do every single day. And especially if it's something that you do that you love. And that thing gets taken away from you, then it's like, oh, and, and the worst part about it, if it gets taken away from you and you can't do anything to get back to it right away, you can't do anything. Even if you fix whatever the problem may be, you can't get back to it right away. So you just got to sit and you just got to wait and wait. And, and you got to think about all the, oh, what could have been, how it should be. Oh, only if I wasn't dealing with this problem, then I could be out there doing my thing. So it, that's, it's tough. So hopefully with Ronnie Stanley, again, the, the mental part, that he'll be okay mental-wise. Um, but what I was saying, back to what I was saying with, uh, with Ronnie Stanley and his injury, uh, is that the Ravens, they, they let us know, like, oh yeah, we, uh, we're getting some reinforcements. We're getting some reinforcements because they went out and signed, claimed Brandon Knight. He's on the active roster now. He can play tackle. And they signed James Carpenter. Even though he's a guard, they signed him to the practice squad. So again, they're just... Ensuring themselves, and again, with Ben Cleveland being going too, you stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. Stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. It's important that uh, you do everything that you possibly can to prepare. And with Ronnie Stanley too, um, I guess this turned almost into a Ronnie Stanley video. But with him, it's important that next year, and I think I said it in a video too. But it's important that next year the Ravens like. Hey, you got to invest in a left tackle. Well, I think via draft because I mean you ain't gonna be able to. You're not gonna play. You're not gonna pay premium for two left tackles. That's just no. It's not gonna happen. But what you need to do, and now with Alejandro Villanueva, his status may actually be. I because before when he first signed this year, I was thinking, all right, Alejandro Villanueva, the way his contract is set up. So he gets all the money this year, and the next year it ain't as much, and, and they cut him. That's it. And I was thinking, okay, this is a, it is a two-year deal, but it's really a one-year deal, and they're going to cut him after this. You know, how, you know how it goes. But with Ronnie Stanley being hurt again and him having surgery on the same ankle again um, and him, he could come back in 2022 fully healthy. He could, but I, I feel like Ravens can't even chance it. I feel like they can't even chance it. So I feel like they, you got to you gotta draft a left tackle. And again, I, first round, no. Second round, ooh, uh, probably not. But third round, third round and later for sure. Um, second round, uh, maybe, but third round and later for sure. Like you, you, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to. Because you can't rely on them. So, um, and because not, yeah, you, you just can't rely on them. Not in a bad way. Oh, man, he's unreliable. But just you, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. 
And Ravens, they certainly weren't ready to come all with the offensive line this year. Uh, but anyway, back to the linebackers. Um, it was it was telling when the Ravens brought up Josh Bryant, when they signed Josh Bryant to the practice squad. They saw the struggles uh, from Patrick Queen. And, and with Patrick Queen, again, in the long run, he'll be fine. He'll be, he'll be fine. And, of course, uh, the loss of LJ Fort, that was huge. And my apologies that I had forgot to mention him in the video uh, where we were talking about all them injuries. But like I said, man, it's you, you, you tend to forget some names when it's such a long list of injured guys and you don't have the list in front of you. I, I, I'm not going to remember every single name every single time we talk about it. Because that's it's, 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 it feels like it's impossible. But LJ Fort, uh, when he went down, it was really sad uh, in the preseason. And he was like, yeah, he was playing at the end of that preseason game. Uh, but that, that, that blow just hurt big time. And we knew it was going to hurt big time, but it, it hurt big time. Um, and then just to see the struggles uh, with a Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison. And it's like, what makes it tougher is that you're, you're, you're learning by, you're, you're learning in the fire. You're learning through the fire. And you, like normally with what the Ravens do, especially an inside linebacker with their young boys, like I believe like with Daryl Smith, I believe Daryl Smith, he, he brought up C.J. Mosey. Then they were like, all right, C.J. Mosey, you ready for it? Um, but with L.J. Fort, he played last year with Patrick Queen, um, so they had that. But remember, too, last year they didn't have no offseason. So the training was that much more. It was that much more intense. So this season, it was looking like, you know, they wanted to shift to Malik Harrison and Patrick Queen to be that guys eventually, but it was still going to start off LJ Fort uh, and Patrick Queen. But now you have an off season, so the learning can be a, a little bit more, a little more um, detailed and whatnot since you got the off season to go off of. But you can't have this veteran guy uh, issue in the rookie because the veteran guy is out now. So now it's like two guys who were rookies last year, now they both starters. And in Ravens defense, that's a whole lot to deal with. So when they brought Josh Bynes back, it was like, oh, okay, understand. Understand. So now they got Josh Bynes taking on the role that Patrick Queen had, and they moved Patrick Queen over. So th it'll, it'll just ease things for him. It'll make the process a little more simpler for him. So good move by the Ravens, and it's funny I, I pulled up on pulled up something on Twitter uh, yesterday, and I think I was just I was actually just looking to see uh, make sure that Josh Bynes was on the active roster, um, like for good. I was trying to see exactly when he got put on the active roster, not when they signed him to the practice squad, not when they called him up from the practice squad, but when he got put on the active roster. So while I was searching for that. A tweet from way back in 2012 came up from the Ravens, and it said Josh Bynes has been uh, called up to the active roster to replace Ray Lewis, to take the spot of Ray Lewis. So Josh Bynes has been doing this. He's been filling in for Ravens linebackers, Ravens starting linebackers, Ravens starting inside linebackers for a long time. So this ain't nothing new to, to him. He ain't new to this. He's true to this. Shout out to Josh Vines. But I love y'all, man. Uh, special shout out to my guy, King A. Mart. I don't know if he's going to listen to this. Um, but I know he said that he was a uh, Am he was an Amazon truck driver. So, boy, I, I know he is busy, man. Especially for them Prime customers, man. Because Prime, you get it. You could get stuff the same day. You pay that extra little $2.99 if you don't spend $35. Or you get it the very next day. If if it's available the very next day, sometimes you order stuff and like that. But um, special shout out to him, and just special shout out to um to everybody who I know. Some people that the job, some people listen to the videos while they at work. Um, they listen to it. They may have a really busy job where they may be on the road. Uh, you may listen to it on your way to work. Uh, you may listen to it at school while he's supposed to be doing school work. Even if you listen to that work while he's supposed to be doing work, work like y'all, y'all be careful now. But now nah, I, I appreciate y'all. Taking the time out of your day, your schedule, your life, whatever it is that you do uh, to listen to the videos and to watch the videos and to support the channel uh, from wherever you're from. Even if you're from overseas, if you're international with it, I appreciate it. If you're right here locally with it, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. 
thank you for supporting uh, what we do on here and thank you for uh, just being willing. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Uh, I appreciate y'all and I am out.